Hello everyone, I'm Grey Cloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 53 of Factorio with the Space Age expansion. Where we have been working on a setup to make some red circuits in a somewhat condensed way. And we had some problems with power and getting things in and out. And I realized between episodes that if we just turn this around to a horizontal setup. We have a lot more space to run belts through. So why don't we just do that? At least if there's not other problems, of course. We still need to get input like this, I think. No, wait. Let's not do that. Let's put it in here. Input, input. Can we then get copper in here and output here? Maybe if this is here instead, because then we can input those, input this, output to there, and output to there. Transfer, input, input, power, power, and more power up here. Oh, maybe I don't want it there though. Maybe I want it there instead. I think, oh, we will need this to be here though, so these can also output. And they need different power, I guess. It annoys me that we can't do this with just two poles. It always annoys me, but... This won't work either. We do need two poles, okay. There, there. And here, here, I guess. Whatever. And this can just... Tile up a cut. So each segment here is even more dense than the other set segment was. And we don't have all the problems. We do need to handle all the input and output now, though. So let's just power it up first, so I don't have to look at the unpowered stuff. And maybe do some requested tests and stuff. So input there. Mirror there. We do actually need twice as much cover as the other so we do need a full belt of cover so we need more space to fill this cover belt mm. if we just put output here and then maybe just fill cover down here Oh, we have trains on Fulgora. I think I might have forgotten to fuel those. But... Are you in any way near robot networks? No. And we can't really get it there. So Fulgora will just stop working from that lane at least. And unfortunately the other train is behind that as well. But... We can ask this to move. Oops, in the other direction at least. And then the other train works, okay. We should set up some fueling for that though, before it runs out. Do have 49 rocket fuel. 
in each end. Okay. I'm still going to set up automated stuff though. Can we not fuel a train that is on the ramp? How about if we do a long-handed inserter? I suspect that is possible. Uh, rocket fuel. And rocket fuel. And a long inserter. If we have that. We do. Good. And it works. Okay, you can go work again. Something like this. I think I just want this out there just so I have a clean copy surface here. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. This is still the other train, right? Yes. We can't connect these two islands, right? No. It is somewhat close, but not really. Uh, and... There's no way to... Oh, if we just put this to manual? Does it still complain? No. Okay. I can live with that then. Remove this. And cut this, I guess. I usually say that I should test it before removing it though, so maybe we should just do that. We're working. We're outputting. Everything is great. So we remove this again. We've only made the same setup three times or four times or something at this point. And I'm just going to place it right here, I think. And then hope we can still fit some more greens production in. And this is just copper. Okay. I can't really do the same thing for green circuits. Did I have something planned for that? I guess we were trying to draw inspiration from here. Is this having input go north or south? We are outputting to the south, okay. Well, we need to figure out the requested chest, so let's just give ourselves some space here. This is just cover. This is just iron, so it's pretty simple. And do we want to try and make full belts, anything like that? Is that even a concern right now? Probably not, but maybe we should do it anyway. I would want it to 
stay within its own footprint, though. So something like that for cover. Something like that for iron. And then output. Mm. If we have a full belt, we probably need at least two inserters here. This one wasn't planned for this, no. This is the only thing that covers everything, so we're just keeping that, I guess. And this should be fine then. If we copy this, we lack some stuff. Let's add this one then. Okay. What does it matter? Not really. So I'm happy with this, I'm pretty sure. Let's remove this. And I guess you can figure out where this is heading. Now I want to move this. Or oh, we could maybe try to squeeze in another setup, but no, we cannot. So, yes, we are going to move this. Did we empty out the chests with a lot in them? No, we did not. Okay, we got it done, I'm pretty sure. Now we can start working on modules, maybe, to actually get better productivity. Better than we already have. Also, this is not good to try and put it onto that belt. Okay. How are we doing on robots? Just fine. We are just going to do a status again, because, well, I'm not sure how well this will run over time. We have plenty of ores. We have plenty of jelly nuts. We have plenty of Yumiko. We lack some nutrients, it seems, for some reason. Because we don't have enough spoilage, maybe? So those don't work a lot, because there's not a lot of spoilage. And we just don't have enough of these, I guess. I am relying on the integrated setups to make enough uh, nutrients for these. So that makes sense that we are running low. Though I don't really know where it's going. Because none of these machines lag it. Oh, but... Ro oh, not robot. Uh, Egg stuff. This stuff requires a lot of it. I thought. Not that. These. Yeah, so they will lack nutrients. I hadn't thought of that. We need extra nutrients made for just that. So should we just make a row specifically for that? I think so. And we need to make mesh first. One of these makes two mesh per second plus productivity and everything, so six mesh per second. This consumes two mesh per second. So three to one. You request Yumako. You request mesh. Yeah. 
Eight more. And more. And let's actually have a row here reserved for RoboPorts then. Then we should hopefully soon have way too much nutrients. But we'll see. Okay. So this, I think, is all fine apart from the nutrients. Let's go have a look at our power production, because that's a separate setup. Plenty of jelly nuts, plenty of yumako, plenty of uh, spoilage, mash, jelly, nutrients, bioflux. I forgot to look for jelly and bioflux up here. Jelly, we have thousand bioflux. We have a hundred of, I think. I lost it again. 50 to 100, sure. So that should be fine. The build up of spoilage down here could be a problem. But should we not stop making this if we have too much nutrients? Which means these should work. But they have also stopped if we have too much nutrients. These should be allowed to work more than these. So this should be lowered to 500. And that should be everything, I think. We just keep this to have everything being able to restart if we needed to. I should get rid of some uh, resources and then we are going to actually do something with our lives. And everything else is fine, I guess. Good. We are starting to make low density structure as well. We were making better assembling machines. We wanted to make modules. Don't have a built plan for that. Okay. We can now remove cliffs. So we have way more space to work with in a more planable manner at least is this water yes it is i don't think we want that here we have water stuff down here and that's fine okay give me one of those these are bigger of course so maybe we should dedicate a row to them by themselves they don't fit in very well in this setup. And we could just build it down here. I have said that I would rather have the requester chest on the left, right? And let's just try and stick to that idea. Power wear? I don't know. Do we need one for every one of these? Not really. Just every three yes with these. Or every two, I guess. Offset. now we can make modules these take oh, these make 0.2 per second these take 0.1 per second no 0.26 per second sorry make 0.1 per second and can't be productivity further okay 
but it is pretty close to one to one. So let's make some more of those for now. We also want to just move our speed module production. I think we do, because we want them to be faster. And we want it to have the 50% productivity. So with that, we can shut this off. Actually, can we use those in there? And start to request stuff again. We don't really need a hundred of these all the time anymore. This is fine, I think. Good. Why is this here? I don't know, let's remove it. Same with this. Oh, well, the spacecraft platform is probably from, from when we are in space. Because it's nice to have a short or easy way to get the platform. Let's be honest, I'm just using the pipette tool on this. That's way easier for me, at least. Okay, we have some modules. We wanted to module these pretty much, because they will take a lot of resources. So if we have some modules ready, let's do that. But we don't. Because we don't have blue circuits yes, yet, of course. Okay. Next setup. Blue circuits. You require red sulfuric acid. Okay, so this will just move down. Stop hitting buttons, please. This will just move down to all of the fluids. We do have sulfuric acid here, but we don't have a great way of putting this in here. Other than just pairing them up, I guess. These actually transfer the sulfuric acid. So why don't we utilize the extra space we have up there to move this up one tile, make blue circuits, just transfer that. Oh, they cannot do that, but can we mirror these? Yes, we can. Awesome. And I'm just going to ignore everything I've said about where I want these and just pair these up. No, I'm not. Let's do it proper. Ignore me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we don't have enough electromagnetic plants for that. Which is, of course, bad. Also, we need more green production. So we want more electromagnetic plants. We had a problem with making those, and I don't think that has become that much better. We have four here. Oh, do we have a ship waiting there? We do. And you are requesting, but we can send those down again. Send that down. Go to Norvis and unload the science. Have the Gleber ship go to Folgora. And request a thing from Folgora. Sure. I seem to remember that we didn't have any problems with this ship moving at its full speed, which, is, which isn't a lot of speed, but just that this seems to be a robust setup with enough defense, enough power, 
enough fuel generation. So I think we are starting to be happy with this ship. But we'll see over time, I guess. We don't have a lot of ships running back and forth to Vulcanus and Fulgora yet. It's only rarely. And Fol or Vulcanus might even have stopped completely because we didn't have enough coal there. And we need to go and fix that at some point. But yeah, this seems to work just fine. Okay, it needs some time though. Did I... No, that was on Fulgora, of course. Oh yeah, we have to dismantle this. Good. Then we have more available for our ship. What can we spend our time on while waiting for that ship to come back? There's always enemies, but I'm not too hooked on that right now. Maybe... Well, I wanted to say we could work on the components for rockets, but we have just started this setup. We have load and city structure, we have rocket fuel. So we actually have everything needed. It's just the uh, scaling of it that needs to be changed a bit, I think. Now, all of our resources here currently are infinite, right? Everything just comes from Yumiko and Jelly Nuts. Because I'm trying to just be a little bit more foresightful and not have to come back here to make just the science we're making now. The only non-infinite thing we have is the stone for landfill, which we don't need for science. And I think that's it. So this should just continue to make science if we need it. We could of course maybe need to scale that science, but that's not bad. The blue circuits and rocket fuel and low density structure is just for launching rockets. And we don't need that many rockets really, because it's just a, a thousand science per rocket. Of course, maybe we need to bring some of these back, but we'll see. Mm. So I'm starting to think that we're actually close to done on this planet. How much science are we making per second? Almost three per second. I think that's more than any other, other science right now. But I could be wrong. So... Do we need to do anything else really? Let's have a look at our ship here. Have you gotten some plants yet? No, because this is not enabled. Do we want to request all this other stuff? I think this was for me going to a planet, so let's not request that. Whoops. So, we're getting some electromagnetic plants, good. These need bioflux to work. And that's because we're low on Yumiko, is that true? Yes. And also mesh, I guess, yes. And nutrients, okay. So making this, we ran out of Yumiko, it seems. Still have plenty of robots. We just don't have enough Yumiko. We have some land filling for it. 
But maybe we just need to add more farming here. I'm just confused. If we take this blueprint, the outlines of the areas doesn't line up. Am I looking at something different? I'm looking at this, that's why I'm stupid, sorry. As always. We have plenty of space here, I thought. Sort of do. I am just going to tile these up then. Problem is power though. Does this actually prevent us from build or oh, planning there again? I don't know. Let's have a look later. Maybe. I'll just forget about it and then ignore it totally. We also need robot coverage, of course. Good enough, I guess. And do some land filling. Wait, did I overlap them? I didn't want to do that. So we're moving you. To here. Give it more seeds. And give it more land to work with again. Oh. Just want to see if that makes a difference. Did actually okay so i need to be better at removing everything from a planting area because apparently it can't take away oh yeah harvest everything in range i really want to go bigger though I have some unused tile between these two setups And I'm just going to try and see if we can utilize those, I guess. We can. Should still be better at removing stuff, though. And try to avoid removing the landfill I've placed down. And apparently I didn't line those up very well, but I guess I lined up with this. No, I did not. I lined up with nothing. Okay. Let's grab some more landfill and just ignore our problems. Uh, landfill over here somewhere, maybe? Yes. And these, if they go, we should have more land, yes. Wait, did they both try to plant on the same spot, or are they just taking away things? 
I don't know. I don't think it knows itself. <laughs> They both recognize these two trees, but they don't bo both recognize these trees. I'm not sure how that works. And it doesn't really matter. I'm just curious. Do we get anything out of placing ourselves here? We do get a little bit, I think. Why haven't I just done this yet? I didn't want to wait for the robots, I guess. should probably go unload this myself so we don't have all the robots working to do that one thing. Why do we have two robots in there? Because we somehow lack five in here. Not sure how that math lines up. But now we have 800. Did I maybe place a requester chest again for one of the robots? Maybe. I don't know where though. Oh well. We were doing Yumako. Are we out of our Yumako trouble though? We have 250 available currently, but we might just have harvested some trees recently. And our problems with robot coverage keeps growing. But in here shouldn't be a problem. And we didn't put landfill down from this, but there wasn't as much space as I was hoping for either. Okay. Have we run out of seats? No, we have 1200. We need to do something about those as well at some point. I'm just going to act like I can remember that and then forget all about it. Up here seems to be where all the good stuff is. The good land. Can't really do substations or anything with these without blocking some area. But maybe we should just do big electric poles so we don't need extra power poles at the back of them. But then we just end up blocking the same amount of tiles anyway. If we had higher quality power poles we wouldn't have to either, but maybe I should just ignore it and get to work. Now this was a good spot.
I'm guessing we don't have any good land in that lake. And I think that is correct. Okay. Just out of curiosity, if we actually got some science back, we can turn wood into wood or tree seeds. And can we then just plant tree seeds back on Norvis? I guess we can. Why would we do that though? I don't know. Maybe for power. Carbon fiber is just a resource we need later on. We get a tool belt equipment. Is this something we put in our suit and then we get extra inventory? Looks like it. Okay. We need it for stack inserters. And not really much else, I feel. Captivity of biters. That is way too advanced for me right now, but that actually leads to the fusion reactor. So we're probably going to need, to need that stuff, stuff at some point. Uh, epic quality. Oh, it isn't even unlocked. I thought we were just unlucky that we didn't get any. We need to unlock that stuff. I forgot, I guess. Mm, what else are we getting? Advanced Asteroid Processing. Ten iron for cover out of an asteroid or metallic asteroid. So is that the first th time we get cover out of an asteroid in space? I think it is. We can also get sulfur. Calcite, okay. So we actually start to have ways to get calcites elsewhere than on Vulcanus. Which can give us more thruster oxidizer, I guess. And fuel. Just trying to figure out what our goals here are. Mm, and that's about it for now. So it's some of the things hidden behind this, I guess. Quantum processor is probably a big deal. Though we need to get to a kilo, I'm going to call that. So we need this, these two, okay. Rocket turrets is also behind this. Spidertron as well. So when I said not a lot of other stuff we need this for, it is needed. Or maybe it just uh, blocks other research, I guess. Okay, so we need to get some science back. But other than that, this science might expand our... Uh, What's it called again? Spore plume here. Which could become a problem. Do we want to kill some more enemies before we leave? I'm sure we do. But I would rather do something fun about it or something new that we haven't done as much yet. And since we don't, can't make ammo for our tank, maybe we just make some personal laser defense could also ch try with the discharge defense though i'm not sure if that actually damages enemies it, it does do 100 electric damage that just doesn't sound very reliable let's do this how are we doing with our Sleep ship. You have 30 of those. That is good enough for now. Go to Gliebe. Though maybe if we should have just had a look 
if we could get some better equipment from here. Quality suit. Rare Robopods would have been good. Battery Mark 3. Do I even have those? We do have those, okay, just not in quality. But yeah, we could have brought that as well. If I had thought about it, I guess. And maybe that's about it. So much quality stuff here that we get back when dismantling. Hmm. I'm not sure what I feel about that. Maybe we just shouldn't do something like that. But for now, it is fine. 11 by 13 instead of 11 by 12. So we basically just get some battery space in this. No, it would be down here, so it wouldn't even fit batteries. Hmm. Oh well. For now, is our ship here yet? Not entirely. Getting close though. And we're there. Good. Send some electromagnetic plants. And then go back to Fulgora, I think. We will use this ship to go back to Norvis, but for now, it actually unloaded very fast. Are we actually using all of that science? Go away. We are, we still have a lot of metallurgic science, apparently. Okay. Isn't our space science supposed to go to just as well, rather than sit in here? That seems like it would have been a good idea. Space. Oh, yeah, that should be built over time. But yeah, let's take the full Gora ship. Send those back and go to Norvis again. You are on your way, fine. We should have a drop pod soon, we do. Good. Now, did we fix our uh, Humaco problem? Or did we just do work and not really achieve anything? We are still low on Humaco, Bioflux, Nutrients and Mesh. So we definitely didn't fix it. But we helped improve it, I guess. Well, I hope. Maybe this didn't finish anything yet either. Do they tell how many trees they've harvested? No. Too bad. But I guess we can also just keep expanding here. Plus we have a lot of usable space here, holy Christ. Give us more landfill. 
man. Phil. Awesome. You just need more seeds, and then you will be good. We need to go to Fulgora. Remove this. Go to our Gleba ship. You're already requesting, you're getting some now, I think, on the way 10. On Fulgora, we still lack Holmium to make more. Okay. That's still a thing we need to fix at some point. Or maybe we don't need to fix it. I don't know. How many of these do we have here? Over a hundred. Maybe we should just stop the... Fulgora ship from requesting them for now. Or maybe just have 10. Just so we can start to build up some extra. Though those. No, those 10 will not take everything. Never mind. Because I think we need to bring a lot of different machines to Aquilo, the next planet. But I could be wrong. Of course, we could just go there and try to build up from nothing again and just only bring things if we're actually stuck. I just want to speed things up because that feels like a good way to experience these planets so far, at least. Though I'm pretty dang happy that I brought robots here because I would not want to try and design any of this with builds. We could try direct insertion, of course. But that would also suck. At least I can't figure out how to do that, I don't think. In a way that I like, at least. We need to scale this more, right? I believe so. Right out. Oh, we just have eggs hatching. Yes. Okay, that's fine. So that's just a doubling. We want more. Rippling. Quadrupling. And then maybe we need to balance the belt. We also are starting to have modules, I see. And I will start to get those, that's good. I guess we just spend a lot of modules here, okay. How many resources are we actually consuming here per second? Two. And... Five? If we were actually working. Mm, how do we... Fix this or balance it? Doesn't have to be pretty, really. I think that should work. No, they were already putting it on the outside. Dang it. Uh, so...
that's the same thing. What am I trying to do? I don't even know anymore. This is still bad. Well, we could just do this. I think that's the best way I can come up with on the spot here. So we have four of these, five actually, and three, no four, that one is counting down here, and those four, okay. That gives us an almost full belt. And our inserters here can't keep up, okay. Hopefully that means we soon have extra green circuits, but I could be wrong about that because we use a lot of them for blue circuits. Which we should also module up. Can I have more please? Just one more. It actually gives us another 50% productivity, so that's pretty nice. Uh, I think I at some point copy pasted one of these on top of the others. And that messed up their mirroring. I'm not sure when or how I did that though. Maybe just by pasting the recipe or something. But then I wouldn't have seen that it needed to be mirrored. So I really don't have an idea. But now it should work at least again. Did it do anything that we put in modules? No? Okay. I'm confused, but it doesn't really matter. So. We still... Actually, we have plenty of Yumiko now. Jelly nuts might become a problem soon, though. But we shall see. We have 2,200 currently. 2.3k, so maybe not. We'll just keep an eye on that over time. How many blue circuits are we making? We don't have any extras. So we're consuming them all for modules, I guess. That's okay. Uh, let's just have a look at our production. No circuits. 23 per minute. So one every three seconds. And we need 50 for each of these. Is each rocket, I mean. And we can get productivity in that. So every 150 seconds minus productivity. We can launch a rocket. I guess that's okay if we stop needing these for modules soon. But we should maybe work on actually making a rocket silo. So a lot of steel. Though let's also just have a look at our other resources. We have plenty of iron, steel and copper. So never mind, we don't need more smelting at least. Enough steel. Then we need blue circuits, of course. We will ask the robots for those for now. Electric engine unit. 200. Pipe we have. Concrete. I don't think I ever made concrete production here. I think we had some temporary over here somewhere at some point, but I think we removed that again. So we need concrete. Yeah, because we need a concrete for heat towers, I think. Yep. Okay.
concrete, please. We need brick for that. And for brick, we need stone. Though it's not something we actually need to produce long term. It's just for one uh, rocket silo and some extra heat power, uh, heat towers at some point. There isn't any other way of getting brick than just stone, right? Well, recycling concrete, I guess. Recycling these. But not really. Okay. Do we have a bunch of stone lying around here? I think we do. 800. It's something at least. Mm. Should we make a smel smelting column just for that? Maybe not. But if we have some electric furnaces... I would be requesting those, right? Yes, but we haven't actually automated those. Okay. Or maybe we just didn't have brick, but I don't see it here any anywhere where I would expect it to be. So we probably didn't. Mm. Are we going to automate that properly? We're going to run out of stone anyway. I could automate or mine some stone up here and just include that in the robot network. Or we could just put smelting up there, I guess. Make me some electric furnace, please. You need brick though. So let's go grab some stone, I guess, and just make a little bit of brick to get everything started. Do I have some steel furnace? No. One. Oh, we already have some. My bad. Put that in there. Make some steel furnace. Keep this making us brick, I think. That's why not. I'm already being delivered those, I'm sure. Yep. Can I just get a normal smelting thing? Does this one break if we reverse the spilt? Don't I say that they always put on the belt's right side, which would mean these would both put on the same side? I always get confused about that, even though I've proved it to myself many times. Goes on the right side there. What if it was moving towards? It goes on the belt's right side, yes. So this would break if we reversed the belt. Have I not done that in several locations? I guess not. We usually do something like that. Yeah, we do. Okay. Doesn't matter too much. Especially if we're making a small setup only. You request stone. Give us brick for the system. More brick. And more brick. But 
no productivity for that. Too bad. Okay, so we get that over time. Did we get our blue circuits yet? No, we did not, because I only requested 100. Because I'm smart like that. Are you just still starving for blue circuits? You are. Okay. Also, you should have limits for sure. Good. Did we forget to set limits elsewhere? Yes, we did. These are fine to have unlimited. I don't care about those. And we didn't build anything new up here, I don't think. You are limited for furnaces. Maybe just limit that even further. Start to trash stuff. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, but we will get the engine units again, I guess. Was there anything else? There's still the problem of enemies. And it's mainly this, or these two, maybe three bases we have to worry about. Oh, I made some personal laser defense. We only have six so far. We need processing units for it. We can ditch our roboports for that, and potentially some exoskeletons as well, I guess. So we will do that soon. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.